Hello, my loves. All right, I kind of just want to put a pep talk up here to myself on the video. But first, I just want to kind of give you guys a rundown of the week. I'm back down two pounds. All I've done really is had like two a piece of toast and then some cottage cheese for breakfast. Go to the gym right after to teach my body to burn off all of the carbs because years of working out fasted, I think I've absolutely killed my metabolism. I've been having a grilled cheese for lunch every day. So not the best diet, but I'm doing the intermittent fasting where my window is breakfast and lunch so that I have the rest of the day to burn off the calories, hopefully burning fat at night. I haven't been perfect with it. Some evenings I've eaten, but for the most part, it's got me down two pounds. So just working at getting better and better at it. And so I'm starting a new chapter in my life. I'm kind of like closing the door on, you know, this chapter right now. And I've just been like pep talking to myself all week. And it just feels like I'm done playing small. I feel like kind of kept all these goals right here so that I constantly have something to shoot for but it's time to see past that because I think I've been holding it in the future so that I always have something there but when I have goals past that now I can actually complete them if that makes sense so I'm one of my biggest goals is to inspire a ton of people because that's what got me started on this weight loss journey was like I got so down on myself for gaining so much weight and I went and looked at all these YouTubers and all these videos that just inspired me and got me going so I I want to do that because it helped me so now my goal is not just to put up videos but to inspire as many people as I can and keep growing in that and so I have to like bridge the gap between my life right now and this big dream life that I have of making this fitness world a bigger part of my life because right now it's just kind of an idea in my head and it'll always be out here if I don't bridge the gap. Sorry, somebody's like walking right by me and it's a little bit awkward. Okay, so, um, but I have to bridge this gap so that it feels attainable. So from where I'm at right now, I'm posting videos. How do I get to where I'm inspiring more and more people? I have to get better at making these videos. So that's something I'm gonna work on growing in and getting better at is, you know, it's something that's applicable to me right now instead of being this like, oh, one day I'm gonna get here, but not actually have like the baby steps in place. So I'm just gonna, like sink into learning how to get better at videos so if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys would like to see more of or what I can work on let me know um, but yeah that's that's where I'm going and that way I can just keep growing on on my goals because I feel like I've just been playing small and it's like you know what Shirlina if I want something different then I've got to change something within myself I've got to do something different so I am on this turning the page point in my life where I'm going to be changing myself. I'm going to be growing myself, learning more. And I saw this video the other day, they were talking about people on their deathbed and what their biggest regrets are. And two of them were that they never let themselves really be happy and that they wish they would have let themselves be their authentic self and not live by other people's expectations of them. Not be who other people want them to be. I've got to really start focusing on that and living up to my tr my full potential and doing my best to live up to my full potential because I put those things on the back burner and it's time. Like I, life is short and there's only so much time that we have and I want to make the most of it. I want to, you know, like Eric Thomas says, go on E. It's time now. I am going to be pushing myself out of my comfort zone as much as possible. I'm going to be doing things that are new and different so I can grow as much as possible. I, there's no more time to waste. It's time. Like I, I'm going to be 40 this year, so I'm feeling the heat and I'm ready. Like, let's go, let's do this. So anyways, short video today. I just wanted to kind of share where my head's at because 
you know, it's time to be a little bit extreme because if we want extreme things, then we've got to do, do extreme things. So here we go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.